Greetings everyone. We're going to continue with our solar system project uh, using Geometry Sketchpad. Uh, again, we're continuing to do some mathematical modeling. Uh, what we're trying to accomplish in this lesson is to create one more uh, system, uh, this time rotating around the moon. Something like an Apollo spacecraft. If you pay attention to this green dot, uh, remember this is the sun, the earth, the moon, and this green dot uh, is the uh, something like a Apollo spacecraft uh, orbiting around the moon while the moon is rotating around the earth which is rotating around the sun so this is a four body system pretty complicated uh, and you could do all kinds of fun things with it uh, you could uh, have the um, the moons uh, sorry the, the Apollo to be traced and see what kind of a path uh, it uh, follows uh, you could also go fancy and uh, have also the moon being traced in the meantime while all these animations are going on so let's see what's going to happen here you can see all kinds of crossover behavior where the orbits uh, orbital paths are crossing each other a very complicated system it's incredible that you could uh, do this rather easily in genre sketchpad 5.0 Alrighty, uh, and here is by the way the orbital paths that we're going to create. Let me stop the animation for a second and undo these traces so you can see. Um, let me undo these traces here so you can see what it's going to look like. When you animate, what you're seeing is this loop-to-loop uh, -loop motion created by three points that are moving in their respective circular orbits. Uh, to be able to do this, uh, you need your construction of the uh, three-body system from an earlier uh, video that we have uh, constructed. So I'm just going to remind you what we did here, Earth and Moon uh, moving in their respective orbits around the Sun. So the animation we're going to create is actually rather simple. We're going to create one more level. Uh, let's create here uh, another um, re uh, segment. Let's call this uh, Apollo. Let me just take it here so you can see it better. Apollo orbit. Apollo orbit. And as you can guess, what we're going to do is we're going to select the moon, select the Apollo orbit, construct a circular path around the moon. Again, uh, it's probably a good idea to adjust everything so that nothing overlaps here. We could even make the sun smaller for this uh, demo. Uh, and as you can see, the orbit of Apollo is uh, going to be going around the moon so here is the moon going around the earth now we just need to create one more and let's call that uh, Apollo and you can see that uh, there's a little bit of overlap here you can see that now Apollo goes around the moon. Uh, it is probably best uh, to get rid of these earlier animation buttons and hide a uh, hiding the orbit, hide and show of the orbit buttons because we're going to need new ones. So we need to create an animation that allows the Earth to go on its circle, Moon go on its circle, Apollo go on its own circle. So edit action button animation. It's going to ask you all kinds of things. I recommend that the Earth right now, we make it slow. Uh, moon, maybe medium, and let's have Apollo go uh, fast. And let's test that everything is reasonable. Yeah. And let's also create a button for showing and hiding the paths. Uh, the Earth orbit, Moon orbit, 
Hola Orbit. Uh, creating the hide and show button for that. Let's call that uh, hide the orbits. Um, and also this uh, show hide button, remember it's actually hiding uh, the parameters. So I'm going to just delete that and I'm going to create a new one that includes also the uh, Apollo orbit uh, parameter. So you can hide it like that. Okay, so here we are. And uh, we can hide the orbits and do the animation. And last time when we uh, worked uh, with a dark background, you might remember it was uh, a little bit difficult to... Uh, so let's actually get the text uh, to be colored here. Wake up the uh, text palette. And when I click on uh, the Apollo name, as you can see, it's currently in black color. So you could make that some other color that uh, you want. Uh, so let's make that, I don't know, uh, let's make that green. Let's make the, uh, <coughs> let's make the moon become uh, red, uh, earth, maybe we'll make that blue. Okay, so that uh, as these objects are going around the uh, black background, remember edit preferences, you could change the background color to something dark, uh, we will be able to see the, their names. So here we go. Now the fun is uh, to actually trace uh, these. Uh, so let's just start by tracing Apollo and see the kind of uh, path that it traces. Alrighty, you could have all kinds of fun with this. Uh, you could also trace uh, the moon. Uh, you could decide how long to you could decide how long to trace the the objects. So here's a pretty complicated system. Uh, in case you want to have the traces to be more permanent, you can go to Preferences, Background, uh, I apologize, Colors, and you could have the traces uh, actually not fade uh, over time. So that way you could see all the paths as they're appearing and they will be permanent this time and you could study this really incredibly complex uh, uh, path that is being traced here. Alrighty, I hope you had a good time uh, and I hope it wasn't too too complicated. Um, I would love to see what you come up with on your own, your own uh, system with multiple objects orbiting around multiple uh, points. Take care.